Hi students, in this session we are going to learn about vector algebra. So before that vector abdina ennan paakano. There are various physical quantities related to in our day to day life and the physical quantities paathinga na it can either have only magnitude or it can have both magnitude and direction. So only magnitude irukra physical quantities ellame you call them as scalar quantities and which has both magnitude and direction are called vector quantities id already ninga ninth la paatha concept da do you remember distance displacement so distance abindral paathona see this is point a point a land in the point ku poyittu then the person is going to point b so imagine this is 1 km and this is 1.5 km So what is the distance of rain path? Now one plus one point five, totally two point five kilometer will be the distance. Is this directional? No, it is not directional. Whereas displacement pathing, now it is the shortest distance between A and B. So A to B or line which you connect pano na this AB is its direction. And in the length, if in case it is one point seven five kilometer, rain so na displacement is one point seven five kilometer. So how will you represent this displacement? Again, pato na AB vector. Vector in that then ma in the arrow mark which we represented. So in the madri there are various scalar and vector quantities. Examples for scalar pato na distance, mass, temperature, speed. Speed ka corresponding equivalent vector. Eden pato na velocity. Meter per second na da speed na mar measure pano. Same thing for velocity as well. when it comes to magnitude but velocity will have a direction speed will not have a direction so velocity pathinga na change in velocity divided by time taken da it is acceleration so acceleration pathinga it is an applied format adanal idume it is directional in nature and force pathona f is equal to mass into acceleration again acceleration is a vector a scalar into a vector will give you what a vector quantity so force is a vector quantity similarly linear momentum angular momentum idu pathila inno depth la we will be learning linear momentum p is equal to mv in paathirpinga illaya so mass into velocity is momentum so velocity is a vector therefore momentum is also a vector quantity ena mass and the scalar a scalar quantity into a vector quantity will give the answer to be a vector quantity which is directional in nature The next idea about vectors is about its magnitude. Magnitude अब दिन रहते हैं अतः उन्हें वैल्यू एवरेवन रहते हैं, राइट आ? So this magnitude बात होना it is always a positive quantity, and this magnitude is otherwise called as norm of the vector. इप अ प्रीवियस एग्जांपल ला ए बी वेक्टर ने बात हो, अतः उन्हें वैल्यू एन एन बात हो, अदा मॉड्यूलस इन द रेंड लाइंस के नाडुला यू हैव टू पुट Modulus gives us the magnitude. One point seven five kilometer discussed panolia. So what is this? It is the magnitude. How do you represent the magnitude of a vector? Abhi in paathenge na that vector a b vector porter are between two bars or moduli sign. So this represents the magnitude of a vector. So direction yilla ma vero adanore value matto edakron rada the magnitude of a vector na atto. So see a vector or the magnitude is nothing but A vector render side line they have put bars that is moduli of a vector. The next idea on vectors is the different types of vectors. First of all, equal vector. Equal, as the name denotes, both should be equal in magnitude as well as direction. अपने ये रंदे देना अदा दे same magnitude रखनो रंदे में same direction नहीं रखनो अपने ये रंदे देना they are equal vectors. Next heading collinear vectors. Collinear अब देना है ना मा Co-linear, that is in the same straight line. So one vector, the other vector, both are in the same straight line. Magnitude ऐना वा वेना अंदर पोटों. Direction should be the same or direction can be different, but it should be in the same straight line. अब ये रन अंदर ना they are called collinear vectors. So angle between them can be zero or one eighty degree. If in case both are in the same direction, अब इन सुना angle becomes zero degree over here. other way if they are in the opposite direction see a vector is in one direction b vector is in the other direction so what is the angle it is 180 degree next heading is parallel vectors as the name implies rendu vectors parallel a irukku appdin sonna then it is parallel vectors so the angle between these two parallel vectors what is it 
this is zero in this case ipo dhaan namma discuss pannom so the angle abdin paathona they are parallel abdin irukkum bodhu the angle between them will be zero degrees anti parallel vectors anti parallel vectors na enna ma they are parallel but in the opposite directions abdi irundadna then that is anti parallel vectors so the angle between these two vectors will be what 180 degree so idu rendu epdi overlap pannona rendume vera vera opposite direction la irukadunala you can have the angle as what 180 degree the next idea is a unit vector types la unit abina enna ma one nu artham correct ah so unit is what one units place nu solluvom ones place da units place nu solluvom the same thing unit is one so a vector divided by its magnitude is a unit vector see here this is unit vector a unit vector is equal to the vector a divided by magnitude of a vector magnitude of a vector ah verumne a nu potrukom okay so what is it unit vector endra the mel in the cap symbol poduvom so unit vector is nothing but equal to the vector divided by its magnitude so this can be denoted by a cap or a hat and its magnitude is always equal to what 1 or unity why because magnitude alla divide panidom ipo idanude magnitude 3 a irundhuna verumne idanude direction mattum da inda edathula available a irukume thavara magnitude 3 and 3 gets cancelled out right ah so unit vector is only direction and it does not have any magnitude other than 1 so you can say what is it it has only direction what is its magnitude it's always 1 edhukku unit vector ka the next heading is orthogonal unit vectors orthogonal la enna ma 90 degrees so in space 90 degree difference la irukka koodiya three planes you can have correct ah so you can have three axes as such so which are the axes x axis y axis and z axis in the diagram la koduthirukka mari so along x axis the unit vector is called as i cap along y it is called j cap and along z if the direction is available then it is k cap so you have only direction for i j and k and it does not have any other magnitude other than 1 please remember that so this i cap denotes the direction of x axis j cap denotes the direction of y axis and k cap denotes the direction of z axis so i j and k are the three unit vectors which specify the directions along positive x axis positive y axis and positive z axis why is that they have specified positive see in the i vector is in this direction nu potrukanga illaya so idu positive x axis adhu ve adukku opposite la when you draw a line this is negative x axis x dash nu solalam so in the direction pathina it is opposite to that of i cap so specifica டைரக்ஷனை மட்டுமே ரிலேட் பண்றதுனால பாசிட்டிவ் எக்ஸ் ஆக்சிஸ் டைரக்ஷன் அப்படின்றத யூ ஹாவ் டு மென்ஷன் ஸோ தீஸ் த்ரீ யூனிட் வெக்டர்ஸ் ஆர் டைரெக்டட் பெர்பெண்டிகுலர் டு ஈச் அதர் அண்ட் ஆங்கிள் பிட்வீன் தேம் இஸ் வாட் நைன்டி டிகிரி ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் அஸ் வாட் ஆர்த்தகனல் வெக்டர்ஸ் டூ வெக்டர்ஸ் ஆர் பெர்பெண்டிகுலர் டு ஈச் அதர் எனி டூ வெக்டர்ஸ் யூ டேக் இசட் எக்ஸ் எடுத்தீங்கன்னா அதாவது ஐ கேப் அண்ட் கே கேப் ஆர் பெர்பெண்டிகுலர் J and K are perpendicular. I and J are perpendicular to each other, like that. So any of these two vectors are always perpendicular to each other, and therefore they are called as what orthogonal vectors. So in today's session, we have learned three things: what is scalar, what is vector, what is the magnitude of a vector, and what are the various types of vectors. So please again revise the concepts and make notes on the same. Thank you.